All right, first graders. So now you have your beautiful drawing all drawn out and you traced all of it in crayon and you drew the wind in crayon for the calm breeze, strong wind, and gale force wind. So great job doing that. And now we are going to paint our sand. We're gonna start with just the sand first. So to paint our sand, um, we have brown and you're just gonna take it, get lots on your brush and tap it on the side just like this. You can see how I'm just tapping it on the side and that makes it so it doesn't drip because we don't want it to drip on our drawings or anybody else's drawings. So I'm just gonna tap it on the side and then I can bring it over and carefully paint my sand. When you're painting your sand, I want you to make sure you don't have too many puddles because we don't want it to make a hole in your paper or anything like that. Okay, so notice I'm using just the tip of my brush and I'm painting carefully so I'm not getting it into the part where the water goes because we don't want the water to turn brown. So we're just going and painting the sand. And you can keep going painting all that sand in and make sure that you have enough water on your brush. You can keep going back and dipping it in. And you can see some spots are darker and some spots are lighter because I have more or less paint in those spots. So if you want to, you can go back over certain spots if they're too light or spread it around. And I kind of like how it has lighter and darker spots because then it makes it look like sand because it has, you know, spots that are white, spots spots that are um, in shadow, spots that are light, spots that are wet, are darker. I'm going to very carefully use just the tip of that brush and paint the sand. I'm going to go all the way across and paint all of my sections in sand. Paint them all browned. that we have all of it painted in brown. I'm just using the tip of the brush, taking my time, using the tip of the brush to pull the paint across my paper. I'm going to keep going, just tipping the, just using the tip of the brush and dipping it in the paint when I need it and tapping it on the side so that it doesn't drip everywhere. Keep painting that all brown. Filling the whole thing in. You want to be careful you don't have too much water in any spot. So if you have a lot of water, just keep pushing it with your brush and spread it around because if you have too much, it could rip your paper or it'll make your paper all wrinkly and it won't look as nice. Painting all my sand in. Being very careful when I go around the edges of objects, like around the side of this flag. And around the side of the hand, I have to be very careful around these hands. Being extra careful on those hands that I'm not touching them by accident. Just using the tip of the brush so I can follow right along the edges of lines. Just the tip of the brush. Getting down here in just this little spot that I had. Filling that all in in brown. So it has just the tip of the brush. Filling it all in. I'm going to fill in all of it all the way along. From one side all the way to the other. Be extra careful that you're not painting in that area that's going to be blue next time. We don't want to paint the water blue. Using just the tip of the brush very carefully so I'm not splattering around, not making a mess. I'm 
Here we go. We have one more section to paint brown. Oh, I noticed this is kind of light. I'm going to fill that in a second. There we go. I'm going to paint this last section brown. Very carefully painting it. Painting all my sand in. Nice and carefully painting all my sand in. Painting it all in. And the watercolor paint dries really quickly. So you'll notice it'll start soaking into the paper and it'll dry pretty fast. And paint the whole thing. Got a nice sand texture all the way across. So I have it all painted in. You can see it still has some wet spots, still drying a little bit. And then, my friends, you can paint the tree trunk because that's going to be brown too. So just take your brush and very carefully paint the tree trunk in. I'm going to make sure I fill it in really nicely all the way up to the top. Filling it in all the way up to the top. And you can actually paint right over top of the crayon that you did, so you don't even have to stay inside those lines. You can actually paint right over top of it. Just be careful that when you get by the part with the water that you're not going over the edge of the crayon lines. There we go. Got my tree painted in. I've got my sand painted. And now we're ready for water.